Chris, he's on his way. Quick! Oh, quick. Oh, oh, there we go. There go. He's, he's going for the red thing. pepper. Oh, the bell pepper's in. The red pepper. Wow, we're going to have to move everything out now. Yeah, you know what he's doing? He's sitting on the food so nobody else can he's, eat it. He wants to make sure that nobody else eats it. Oh, look at that. He's looking. He's just making sure that he gets first dibs, second dibs, and all the food. Oh! Look at the big uh -oh, charge. That's why it's we're in trouble here. Oh man, here we go. It's a real mud thing. It's a food fight almost. There you oh go, there God. you go. Look, he, this is why he was standing over the top of it. This is wild. It just turned into a real muck bang. So that one there is tank. This one here is Oliver. I remember you, Cecil. So they're all over 30 years old. They're running over to do it. Okay, everybody, there you go, there you go. This is what it's like to have a bunch of big tortoises. Now, that being said, these aren't mine. These Sam's. Hello, <laughs> folks. So, island tortoises, that's where all of the big tortoises come from. They don't come from, you won't find any giant tortoises on the mainland because they go through something that's called island gigantism, where they don't have predators, and so they become the alpha animal on the, animal, on the island, and all they do is eat. So in that situation, we have island gigantism, and that's why animals, uh, certain types of animals in different uh, 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 periods, if they're reptiles or mammals, why they become so huge. Is that amazing or what? So, you, so the funny part is on snakes, it can actually work opposite, opposite. because there ain't enough food on the island. Right. But because these are vegetarians, exactly. and of course it rains a lot on islands, there's a lot of vegetarian growth. So it's absolutely amazing. You can see these guys, Luckily, they all get along good. Now, I don't think Aldabras burrow underground. No, do they? they don't burrow, they don't dig at all. But what, what is interesting is, you, know, you talked about it before, this is actually their communication. The way that they communicate with each, with each other is to ram each other. So, <laughs> you know, people are always very sensitive that the tortoises, you know, you're gonna tap them, you're gonna bother them. That's their natural language. Their natural language is if somebody's in front of them, they bash them. It's kind of funny. Just, yeah. It's like knocking on your door. And if he doesn't move, <laughs> guess what? He goes over them all the time. So, you know, they use that shell as, as protection. Look at that. He's responding through shell touch. So he's literally lifting up and he's still eating, right. but he's actually responding to touch through this thick shell. Right. So this shell is like, kind of like your walls in your house. You know somebody's knocking, you know what's going on, but it's also as total well, protection so at the I'm same time. It's a lot of nerve endings up here. This is Adolf's harem. Girls are coming over some food. So we're gonna go ahead and give them some food. So we don't know what they're gonna eat. So we're gonna give them a variety of things to eat. We'll try to spread them out. But we're going to have a good time. What do you think they're going to eat first? Oh, I don't think it's going to matter. I think they're just going to start eating whatever they can get their lips on. You see it? Uh-oh, the grapes are wrath. The grapes are getting smoked underneath there. Oh, man, there's a banana, too. Okay, okay. Oh, the plantain. Oh, plantain. Oh, 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 oh. I'm in there. You're a little bit nervous, Thank huh? You. There you go. Oh, you guys, you go ahead. There you go. Oh, there you go. Eating that banana. Oh, so anyway, just like the big ones, females don't get as big as the males. So oh, Bernie's dude. 39, and uh, that being said, let's go see. If, oh, wow, really? Okay, Bernie, don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Does that look good? Oh, oh, and Bernie over here is living his dream with all the girls. <laughs> and huge yeah. legs. And, and if you look at, at him, He's, he can't raise his head too high because his head is almost touching his shell right now. Look at that. Is that you crazy? You can't see anything inside there. So he's grazing more on the low stuff. Right. Where, where Adolf is able to graze up on the tree leaves and all the other stuff in the, in the area probably that's more dry and doesn't have as much, as much foliage on the ground. They're winter breeders. And even though it's not like really winter, but it's a rainy season is what they go by. And they want those babies to hatch after the rain season's over. And there's a lot of foliage and a lot of stuff to eat. Oh, oh. He likes some of those different, there's a yellow one. There we go. Oh, he's heading, boy, he's right in on a papaya. Oh, oh the papaya. papaya is the number they one choice. papaya. Throw a couple of those strawberries out there. And maybe that potato. Oh no, look, he's taking a bite of the pepper now. Oh, so you guys, yeah. you yeah, guys thought he, 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 he took those bright colors. You said he was gonna eat this first. <laughs> Well, did he change his mind? I they, thought he was so he went right for the pepper. Yeah, but I think you're gonna I think you're gonna be right on the second choice. Whoa, he liked that pepper. Yeah, he really seemed to be attracted to that color. So, what do you think will be the next thing? Look at Look, him. There, there goes the papaya. <clears throat> they love papaya. Oh, papaya's gone. 
At 105 years old, you make your own mind up on what you're gonna eat. But he knows exactly how to eat this. He's just gonna sit there and, and knock off little wedges and swallow them piece by piece, his little bite-sized pieces. So, you know, he's pre-digesting his food this way by turning it into smaller parts, not swallowing, you know, whole, whole pieces of fruit. So he's taking his time eating a little chunk yeah. at a time because he knows that's what's safe for him. Yeah. Sam says he doesn't, he usually even gives them whole pieces and he likes them to make sure that they eat eats it in little pieces like he's doing. So he's literally just biting off chunks, little chunks at a time because he knows he has to bite it up and chew it a little bit because he doesn't have teeth like me and you. He just bites chunks off and then swallows it. And a sweet potato, of course, is under the ground normally. So he wouldn't get a sweet potato, but they're really full of a lot of vitamins. So he still knows how he's supposed to eat it from other other hard things that he eats. What was the pits in there? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna finish that. He didn't yeah. eat our strawberries. And I know he likes strawberries. Yeah, it's I'm gonna have to literally put the strawberries out. Red. My, that was my- Keep your finger there. Maybe bird, maybe finger. Oh. Was that a no? You had one a few minutes ago. Oh, oh. He's got his vitamin C for the day. Yeah, the right hand is out of commission. So, you know, he's gonna end up losing both hands today. Yeah. One this, in the ocean. This Check one, this, this out. one already looking kind of rough. Yeah. That was a shark, wasn't it? Great white? Great white shark. Great white shark. I jumped on his back, yep. drug him in, took a picture with him and let right, him go. Let him go. That I was wanted a catch to do a good release. video, so. Catch him but release. anyway, it didn't work out so good. But no, we tried. It's not the worst, you know? Yeah. I should, next time I'm gonna be more careful because I think I'm gonna pick a big, a, a smaller one because this one here was like 800 pounds and he was brutal. Look yeah. at that, he ripped my arm up. But we got some killer video. Just check out all our pages, you'll find it. Just kidding. It was actually a fish. Adolf Amazing or what? Look at him. Man. 106 year old Galapagos tortoise. Darn. So cool. I don't have any Galapagos tortoises, but I have Aldabras. Aldabras are really similar, but they don't get quite as big as these. Uh, they hold the world. Galapagos tortoise hold the world's record for the biggest tortoises in the world. And uh, well over a thousand pounds. And Aldabra tortoises are, are really similar, except you see how he's got a big block head uh, and his nose is short and square. And now uh, Aldabra tortoise, I'll show you a little bit, his nose is going to be round and more pointed and less flat. But anyway, amazing animals. Look at the size of this guy.